Okay, um, hope you're studying for your test coming up. This will review you for the free response PT, VT, AT test. Okay, so I've got uh, about 12 scenarios to go over with you. So we're going to read the scenario. You're going to make yourself a PT, VT, AT graph. And then after we go over the scenario, you pause the video. You get your uh, PT, VT, and AT graph done. And then unpause and check your answer. Okay, so our, for our first scenario, Jason starts west of the origin and speeds up toward the east at a constant rate. Okay, so let's say east is positive and west is negative. So let's go ahead and put that east is positive, west is negative. And then we either have a positive or negative acceleration. So pause your video, read the scenario, and then make your answer. Okay, here is the answer. Does your answer match mine? Here's the origin. He starts west of the origin and he uh, speeds up while traveling east. So he's going to have an increasing positive slope because he has an increasing positive velocity. He's speeding up in the positive direction. And uh, for our velocity time graph, he has to have a constant positive slope because he's traveling east, so it's got to be on the positive side, and he's speeding up. Okay, so constant positive slope. And if you're speeding up, which is positive, and going east, which is positive, that gives you a positive acceleration, but also constant positive slope gives you constant positive acceleration. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I've got to cover my answer. Okay. So here's our new scenario. Read the scenario, pause the video, and sketch your answers. Okay, here's the answer. Natalie starts east of the origin, so she starts up here, we'll call this east, and travels west at a constant velocity. Now, I did not say if she passed the origin or not, so it's okay if your line is short or if it crosses through, that's fine. She's still traveling west the entire time. She starts east, but she's traveling west the entire time. It should be a constant slope because it's a constant velocity. Okay. Um, on our velocity time graph, she has a constant negative slope here. So that gives her a constant negative velocity here. It also makes sense because she's traveling west, which is a negative velocity, and it's constant. She's not speeding up or slowing down. Okay, if there is zero slope here, there is zero acceleration. Okay, now while I'm talking about the slope business, if you're lost, you need to go back and watch the video of the notes that we took in class. Okay, so go watch that video if you're completely lost about the word slope. Okay, moving on to the next problem. Covering my answer. And here's your new scenario. Pause the video, read your scenario. Scenario, yeah, I said that right. <laughs> and uh, sketch your answers. Okay, here are the answers. Carson starts east of the origin and drives west at a constant velocity and he approaches a red light and slows to a stop. So he starts east. If he's driving west at a constant speed, he should have a constant negative slope. And then he slows to a stop. So then we have a decreasing slope decreasing negative slope and he slows to a stop. Now it's okay if this line came down below the origin because I didn't say if he crossed the origin or not so either way is fine. But it should be a constant negative slope showing a constant negative speed followed by a decreasing negative slope showing a decreasing negative speed 
and he slows to a stop. So my velocity time graph, he has a constant negative velocity toward the west, and then he slows to a stop. So this is 0 meters per second. Let's say this is negative 5 meters per second. As time goes by here, he's slowing to a stop. And then for our acceleration, when he has a constant velocity, he has no acceleration. Here we have a positive acceleration, but he's slowing down. So remember, if you're going in a negative direction and you're slowing down, two negatives make a positive. So we have a positive acceleration. Also, we have a constant positive slope, so that tells us we have a constant positive acceleration. Okay, moving on to the next one. Okay, number seven. Well, that's my number. I gave it a number. Okay, read your scenario and then come back for the answer. Okay, here's our answer. She starts west of the origin and she's moving at a high rate of speed, so I gave it a pretty steep slope. And uh, let's see here, she's moving at a high but constant rate of speed toward the east, and then the she passes a cop car that flips on his lights to pull her over. So at that moment she slows to a stop. So high rate of speed in the positive direction, constant speed, followed by slowing down. So she has a positive, she should have a positive slope, but it should be a decreasing slope because suddenly her velocity starts decreasing until she hits zero. So she started out with a constant positive velocity and slowed to zero. No acceleration at the constant speed, but then a negative acceleration, constant negative slope, constant negative acceleration. Okay? I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to make a second video. And they're going to get progressively harder, so you should watch the second video.